Hi, I'm George, and let's take a look at a new feature that came in here in Photoshop 2020. It's still here in Photoshop 2021 as well, and that's the colorized photo. And this can save you a lot of time if you want to add color into a black and white image. It's not perfect. It doesn't always give you a good result, but most of the time it's very good for just adding in some color and life to an image. There are a few things you can do to take this even further, and I'll show you that. Let's go up here to Enhance, and then come down to Colorize Photo right there. Click on that. This takes you over to the Colorize Photo Guided Edit. It gives you a preview right away, and notice that this looks pretty good. It has some nice colors. It's found the faces. I mean, there are some little problems if you look carefully, like the face color here kind of blends into the wall in behind him right in there, but it's not really that noticeable. Look over here on the right-hand side. It gives you four choices, four options. Here's just kind of a old-fashioned look. Here's that same coloration, but it's brighter. If you want more saturation to it. Down here is a blue tone image. This would be better for outdoors, possibly. And here's more of a cyan coloration. Again, just choose the one that works best with your particular photo. We'll stick with this one in here. I think that's pretty good. Let's say you wanted to add a bit more color. You can do this manually in here. And that's up at the top. We have Auto and Manual. Click on the Manual side. There it is. The first thing you do is to select an area to work in. You can either use the Magic Wand or the Quick Selection Tool. I'll use the Quick Selection Tool. You can adjust your brush size right here. Bring my brush size up just a little bit, not much. There we go, there's the brush size, you can see it there. It's set for a new selection, and then brush in, and it should automatically find your edges. It's not gonna be perfect, so I have to fix this. So first brush through like that, and get the general area selected. Then go over here, and this is the subtract, and then come into the areas that you don't want, and brush back in. Now it's not getting that edge too well, so I'm gonna bring my size down to about 10. 12 is pretty good. And let's try this at that 12 setting. And we'll come back and fix those in just a second. Come down here a little bit. Okay, I've removed those bad spots. Let's go over here now to add. And let's add back in this little bit right in here. We got that piece right up there. Let me just subtract that bit right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we now have this area selected. Now there's a little bit of stuff inside the hat here. I want to remove that as well. And that's right in here where that band is. I don't want to have any of the band getting colorized. That kind of ropey thing. There we are. Now, once that's done, come down here to the Droplet tool and click inside of your selection, and this makes it into a droplet. Different droplets can have different colors applied. Now, you're a little limited on the colors that you can use in here. It gives you a palette, and this is the palette that they use to create this image. It's very, very subtle on the palette. If you scroll down here, you can see all the colors that are available that it thinks will work out pretty well for this. Let's go for this one here. It's kind of a tan color. There we go. It's a little bit too rich. Let's come down here and just soften that down just a bit. And I think that's pretty good. We added in a bit of yellow in here, but not too much. And I think that's going to work out just fine. Okay, when you're happy with your image, when you've done all these additional steps in here, come down, you can look it up before and after. Looks okay. Let's now go over here to OK. This takes it over into the regular expert editor over in Photoshop Elements. And this gives us two layers the colorized layer and the black and white layer. This allows us to do more if we want to. Let's say I wanted to put in more of a golden color in here. I didn't do this over in the colorized tool because it just didn't work. I tried it, it didn't come out at all right. So let's do this the more old fashioned way. And for that, we'll first zoom in on this. There we go. Get that nicely sized. And I'll grab my selection tool. In this case, I wanna use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to make a lasso in here just right around the liquid inside. And I'll come just inside that edge. I don't want to go clear to the edge. I want a little bit of an edge showing in there. So it's just a hair inside of that edge. And same thing around the bottom, just a little ways inside. That gives an effect of there being a thickness to the glass. And then up along this side here. And I'm going to come right around. I'll leave some of that lettering as it is. And that should be okay. And right up to here. There we go. Let's put this on a new layer. So layer, duplicate layer, choose OK. And on our new layer, because there's a selection in here, click the layer mask button, and that gives us a layer mask that shows just that piece. If I hide everything else, you can see that right there. It's just that piece. Now let's put a layer above this. Go up here to layer, come down to new fill layer, solid color, use previous layer to create clipping mask, check that, choose OK. And I'll find some kind of a nice golden color in here. Maybe not quite that much. Right in there, some bits I think that looks pretty good. Choose OK. Notice that this comes in and it's only affecting that one layer. Let's now blend this layer into that photo layer. Click on your blend modes in here. And you can use the wheel on your mouse just to roll through and see which one looks the best. 
Some will look great, some will look kind of weird, as you can see. That one's not too bad. Soft light, I think that works out just fine. There we go. Okay, let's now go back to fit on screen view. We've added some nice coloration there into that beer on the table. So two ways of doing this. I kind of like this technique where you first use the colorized photo tool, get as much done as possible, and then go back in and do little tweaks if you want to add additional color in the photo elsewhere. If you want to learn more about using Photoshop Elements, to click my complete training course, there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.